This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com, and this is not a tractor video, but if you're if you're a tractor novice, uh, let's say you lived in a city all your life and you moved out to the country, and you're getting into tractors, and you may be getting into livestock, and a lot of people move out to get the, the rural lifestyle, and, and then they buy a horse or cattle or, or, or sheep or whatever, and um, at some point they need hay. And I'm speaking with Extension Livestock Specialist Eldon Cole, who is kind of the elder statesman of the University of Missouri Extension Service. He's been around a lot of years. And Eldon, you've judged hay shows uh, over the area for a long time. You know what good hay is. How do I tell when I'm buying hay for my livestock if I'm getting good hay? Well, you don't just look at it. That's the bottom line. We have what we call subjective measurements, and that is when you look you feel, you smell, uh, some people even chew on a piece of hay. That's a subjective measurement, but the one that we in Extension try to impress on people is to do the numbers, get some true cold hard facts of data about the hay you're buying. What is its nutritive value? You're not going to be able to pick out the best quality hay by looking at it and feeling it. You need the numbers and uh, that means that the hay sample needs to have gone through a laboratory and be evaluated for primarily energy, protein, fiber content, and uh, they kind of combine all of those together to come up with what we call a relative feed value or a relative forage quality value. That's kind of an index rating that we can come up with. How hard is it to find hay that's been tested? It's too hard, probably, especially if you're trying to buy hay. If you have a lot of hay, uh, meaning a, a, a sample bale, a truckload or something like that, uh, it's going to cost you about $20 at least to get a sample analyzed. Usually it'll take at least a week to get the results back. So if you're trying to buy hay and uh, you're at a place on a farm and you hadn't had it tested, uh, I would just simply ask the person, well, uh, will you test it and let me know and then I can make a decision on whether I want to buy your hay or not. How close can you get in looking at hay and smelling hay and telling if it's any good or not? I would have no idea. It's just like a lot of people looking at a cow and trying to guess what she weighs. And uh, it's, it's all over the board what you're going to get. And uh, if you know the species of hay, whether it's a grass or a legume hay, if you know that species, and know a little bit about the farm from which it came, you can get halfway close. And when I say that on protein, if you're buying alfalfa hay, if you're trying to buy it, uh, you ought to be able to get within about three percentage points or four of the true protein value. It's a little more difficult to get close on energy or the calories or caloric content of that hay. Is, is really good hay that, that is at the top of the value worth extra money? I, I mean, a, a lot of folks are looking at the cheapest possible bale. And, and they're looking around bale and probably paid the same for a four foot tall round bale as a five foot or a six foot. They just want so much per bale. So how, how, how much value am I gaining if I test the hay and, and so on? It all depends on the animal that you're feeding it to, Mike. If you have uh, high producing uh, beef cows that are milking very heavily, have some calves on them that are only about a month, two months of age, and maybe the cows need to have a little weight added on to them, it's very critical then to buy good hay. If you've got some fat old cows that aren't going to calve for another uh, maybe uh, four or five months, then you can get by on a lesser quality of hay. A lot of people that watch my channel don't know who to trust. They, they move out to the country, there's a guy down the road that bales hay and they go down and ask him a price and it, it seems high. I don't know what I'm getting. You buy a round bale or square bales and they waste a lot of it or you, you, they're not doing too well through the winter, they look a little thin. Uh, if I were giving one piece of advice to my viewers, there's a guy like Eldon uh, maybe not in every county, a university uh, extension service, most places. 
Yes, you can contact your county extension center and most of the time we're located in a county seat and uh, we can uh, give them some guidance on uh, understanding these little intricacies of buying hay. And you mentioned one thing earlier about weight. That's one of the things that you all should buy hay is based on weight, not just the lab test, but how many pounds are you getting in that package. Uh, small square bales, they usually are going to weigh anywhere from 40 to 70 pounds. But if you look at a big round bale, they may weigh anywhere from 600 pounds to 1,500 if they're carrying a little bit of moisture. And so uh, weight and quality based on a lab test, that's the way to go. Alrighty. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I appreciate you watching my videos and I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other folks that are getting into livestock production. If you have questions or comments, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.